The Philippine Genome Center says that BA.2, or the stealth Omicron, is the dominant sublineage that has caused community transmissions of COVID-19 in the Philippines. Meanwhile, a surge in Omicron variant cases in the country has been observed since, this, since December last year. Aiko Miguel will give us the details live. Yes, Aiko? Yes, Harleen, good evening. The Department of Health reported that the original Omicron lineage B.1.1.529 and its sublineages BA.1 and BA.2 have been detected in the country. The earliest detection of the BA.2 or stealth Omicron sublineage was on December 31, 2021, and it was found to be the majority of Omicron cases in the latest batch of genome sequence samples. Philippine Genome Center Executive Director Dr. Cynthia Saloma confirms that majority of the sequence samples in the country are BA.2 sublineage Omicron variant. It was on the first week of January 2022 when PGC observed the spike of BA.2 Omicron sublineage in the Philippines. Here is Dr. Cynthia Saloma, the Executive Director of the Philippine Genome Center. Uh, safe to say that uh, the subvariant or this Omicron variant is already uh, all over the country. So by the time we entered 2022, almost 100% of the sequence cases we have, particularly in the national capital region, as well as in the Calabarzon areas, are already Omicron. So, Arlene BA.2 is called a stealth Omicron. At, at, it has an undetected spike protein in commonly used RT-PCR testing. It lacks the deletion uh, 69 to 70 in the spike region that were originally that is really targeted by the commonly used RT-PCR kit doon sa Europe and sa ibang countries. Positive pa rin siya sa RT-PCR testing except that yung one of those signals po nawawala. Kaya tinatawag po natin siyang stealth Omicron. However, Dr. Saloma said that based on global data, the BA.1 Omicron sublineage is the prevalent variant in other countries. Dr. Saloma also said that BA.1 was mostly detected in international travelers. She added this only means that the government has been effective in preventing onward transmission of BA.1 Omicron sublineage. Based on the data gathered by the DOH, by the UP, UP Philippine Genome Center and UP National Institutes of Health show that there is no significant difference in BA.1 and BA.2 characteristics in terms of transmissibility or severity of disease. Parang pareho lang naman din sila, yung kanilang symptoms mostly, uh, upper respiratory tract infections, mostly asymptomatic yung pinakamarami at saka po uh, milder symptoms. It doesn't mean that it cannot be lethal, no? Arlene Health experts shall continue to investigate why BA.2 has become more prevalent than BA.1 but so far, the detection of BA.2 does not entail any significant change in the COVID-19 response. Meanwhile, the DOH today de de uh, detected 618 new Omicron cases in the country and 35 new Delta variant cases. 497 are local cases, while 121 are returning overseas Filipinos. Of the 497 local cases, the indicated addresses of the cases were from the National Capital Region, with 238 cases, Calabarzon with 71 cases. As of date, the total number of confirmed Omicron variant cases is now 1,153. Five deaths were recorded among confirmed Omicron cases. Harling the public is advised to be responsible, strictly observe safety and health protocols against COVID-19, and get vaccinated against COVID-19. And that is the latest live. Back to you, Harling. Thank you, Aiko Miguel, reporting live from Kazan City.